Hey guys, and I'm doing a little Q&A here. Uh, I posted a video where I allowed you guys to ask some questions, and I got a shitload of questions already, so I thought, why don't I do the Q&A right now? I thought I would need to uh, wait, to wait a week, but it doesn't look that way. So, first question is pretty simple. Are you German or American? I'm American, but I live in Germany. So let's get that one out of the way real quick. How many Let's Plays do you usually do at a time? Do you finish the games in a day and then batch render up slash upload them all, all? Or do you have an organized way to put it all up? Now, that's an interesting question. Let me show you, how, let me tell you how I mostly do it, yeah? Like if a game comes out on, like I'm trying to, I'm mean, going to want to play a game that comes out on day one, then I mostly start the game uh, on day one. I get like five videos up on day one. I get some stuff out as quickly as possible. But then the next day, uh, you know, mostly I have like four, f like right now I have Assassin's Creed, Uncharted. Uh, I'm playing L.A. Noir. I'm playing The Witcher. So I have at least four games running at one time uh, right now. That's not usually the case with me, but it, it, it does happen that at least, I at least have two games running at the same time, mostly. So, I wouldn't say I finish them and then I batch upload them. I only do that if it's like a, if it's like a short game, shorter game like Assassin's Creed is a shorter game, and I've already finished that, I've already finished Uncharted, and uh, so it, it depends. I, I record what I want, uh, you know, I record what I can, and then I upload I upload as much as I can because my internet is so slow anyway uh, if that's in this, this by the way this question was by Vodnik 2 ftw and this is from flyboy 6011 uh, one of my my uh, biggest viewers do you have any tips for an aspiring let's player what was the first game you remember playing now, I don't know if you mean doing a Let's Play of, or doing, uh, you know, playing without, without the camera running. Do you like potatoes? Uh, uh, I do like potatoes. Let me get that one out of the way first. Do you, I do like potatoes, but only, I like, I like, you know, obviously I like french fries. Who doesn't like french fries? And I like them when they're, like, they're really thinly cut. But I really don't like them when you, like, if you have, like, a whole potato and you eat the whole potato. I really don't like that too much, so I'm kind of limited to fries and things that are like that are really thinly cut, or I don't, I'm not a really big fan of potatoes. Do you, have a, do you have tips for an aspiring Let's Player? Well, first of all, I'd make sure the audio and video quality of the videos is as best as you can get it. It doesn't, you know, Try to make it as good as you can get it yourself, because obviously you can't get it any better. Don't just settle for second-rate quality if you can get better quality. Now, I, I might be, you know, paraphrasing a little bit, because I do use the camera, which, which is not the best quality I can achieve. But that's what I, that's because I, that's because I want to, be able to record videos of the rendering process and all that. So, I, so basically, I wouldn't start out with something like the camera. I would start out with fraps or something, so you can get the best video quality you can and audio quality. Make sure you know all the all the stuff is right. There's no lag in the game. That's running in a smooth 40 to 60 FPS. That give your microphone away from your face. All that kind of stuff. And, um, what else can I say? Try to, try to be, try to be, you know, talk interestingly, try to talk f cl clearly, so people, talk about interesting things, so people are interested, talk clearly, so, so people can hear what you're saying, and it's just not just like, not just like, I know I do that sometimes, it's not easy, and, uh, to just try to try to get a good good commentary so everything is is easy to watch for the viewer and they don't have to like you know strain to hear what you're saying 
make sure the audio levels are right, all that. You know, I don't always get that right myself because I don't want to sit there and try to figure out all the levels. I want to try. I want to play the game. So basically, you know, get get the quality of your video good. Play a game you really want to play. Don't play a game just to get views. Uh, I've I've done that before, and it's not fun. Like I've I, there's this guy that has like uh, ten thousand subscribers that he offered me he offered me a thing where I can submit I can submit a TF2 post commentary. He's called Lecter One, and every time I submitted it, he was like, "Yeah, this sucks. This you don't you don't do good enough. Your commentary's not. I don't like your commentary." And I'm like, eventually, like, "Fuck you." I'm I'm doing my own thing. I don't feel like doing this anymore, even if even I don't get your viewers. So basically, don't do it. A game you want to do, do whatever you want to do. Don't let anyone tell you what to do because if you do that, then you're not gonna have fun, and it's simply not gonna be a thing you want to do. It has to be a thing you want to do, or it's not gonna work out. So those are the kind of the, the tips I'd give a starting let's player. You know, also give the videos a good title, uh, try to organize your videos, try to upload them in order. I know I'm hypocritical in that matter, but that's because YouTube fails to upload uh, some of the videos, and I can't really change that. But if you can, you know, do that. Okay, so that, those are my, most of my tips I'd give. Of course, there's other things, but... You know, if you if and, and if you have if your videos are good quality, then you gotta believe that your videos are good. Yeah, you, know? you gotta believe in yourself, and you gotta not let the haters bring you down. Because if you have lots of viewers, you will get haters, like I have many times. And they have, you know, they do, they do sometimes make you second guess yourself. They do make you sometimes be mad. They do make you feel like shit sometimes. You put you put all this work in, all this work in to get it right, and if someone shits on your video. It's really a bad feeling. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, this is from D D O no D that's a zero D zero H G. So dog. Um, tell us if you're gonna do uh, a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas walkthrough. Now, this is an interesting question because right now I'm doing a lot of games. But in the future, I can imagine doing a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas walkthrough. Now, the reason, you know, I've played Grand Theft Auto Vice City, I've played San Andreas, I've played those two. Uh, but that was back in the time where I used to, I'll admit it, I did pirate these two games. I'm not proud of it, I'm done with pirating because I think it's bullshit. And uh, I think, you know, if you want to pirate, go ahead. I'm not stopping you, I think... People, I think people should be able to. I, I don't think you should be able. It should be allowed. But I, I, I don't want you to feel like you're shit because you pirate. Anyway, I felt like shit, so I stopped doing it. So I don't actually have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So that means that I don't have the game, and I can't do a. I can't do a playthrough of it if I don't have the game. If I had it, I'd love to do it. Also, uh, Vice City, uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So if I somehow could get the game for really cheap or something, I guess, I could do it or someone would gift it to me. Uh, but, you know, under any other circumstances, I doubt I'd be doing it because there's so many games to play right now. I have Mass Effect, I have Alien Noir, I have all the all those Assassin's Creed games I want to do. I have f future games that are coming out, so there's a lot of stuff to do. And you know, there's always games you can do. Like, So there's a lot of things that I'm trying to do right now. And if I would somehow get, uh, somehow, somehow get a uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I, I would definitely do it. Or if I would find it for like five bucks somewhere, I'd pick it up. Uh, but I, I really don't, it's an old, older game too, and I, I've already played it. So I, I, I don't know about that. So it's kind of a contested thing, it depends on the situation. Do you have a lot of friends in school, and do you have a nice girlfriend? Now, First of all, the, first, the second part of that question, I don't currently have a girlfriend, so I can't tell you if, he, if she's hot or not. Simple as that. Do you have a lot of friends in school? I don't know what you mean with a lot of friends. Uh, I do have a decent amount of friends. I, I don't, I'm not going to name a number, I guess. I don't know what you mean with a lot. I have enough friends for me. 
if you know, if you, if you, uh, I don't need more friends. I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that needs to be friends with everyone, that needs to be popular and everyone has to like you. So I, I'm not that kind of person. Uh, anyway, this is also my dog. And I don't have a girlfriend currently, currently so I can't tell you if she's hot or not. Uh, do you listen to rap or hip-hop or rapcore or something like that? Interesting question. I don't listen to rap or hip-hop. I don't used to listen to too, too much music in general. Uh, because I, I, it's, for me it's not enjoyable to sit there and listen to music. You know, just sit, sit, sit there and listen to music. I, I do appreciate good music. I, I'm, I'm one of the greatest, appreci greatest appreciators of good soundtracks, good music. But somehow I never make the conscious decision to say, okay, let's turn on some music. You know, I, I somehow never do that. So uh, I do like, I, I do like, you know, rap. Nah. For me, rap is kind of a love hate thing. Some rap songs I really like. Uh, I don't know what you mean with rap core. Uh, Hip hop, some hip hop songs I really like, some I, I really despise, some rap songs I like, some I really despise. So it's really like a love hate thing for me. Also, I'm really not a big fan of that gang of the gangster rap. I, I find find like totally disgusting and fucking stupid. Anyway, what got you into gaming? Is the next question. And by the way, the question just now was by Dog as well. What got you into gaming? Well. That's an interesting question as well. I have a lot of interesting questions here. Uh, what got me into gaming was, I was like, I was always fascinated with games. I've been gaming since, uh, in some way, shape, or form, since I was a little, little kid, like, eight or something. I always, I was always interested in games, I was like, I was always interest, interested in the first, the first gaming for me was like when I went to someone else's house and they had a Game Boy, you know, they had a Game Boy Color. I'm like, holy shit, they have a Game Boy Color. I want to play it. And someone, someone sold one really cheap to us, and I played through all the, I played through the game that they gave me with it. It was like it was like an older kid. He gave me like a Mario game, and I played that, and I was really, really psyched. I'm not that big of a Mario fan now. I just, I just was thinking to play anything. So. I was always fascinated in games, and I also, you know, before I had a Game Boy, I used to go to the Toys R Us, because you play the Game Boy, then I'd, I'd go there and sit there for a couple minutes and just play the game. So I was always very fascinated simply with getting, getting to the game, you know, getting to the controls and controlling it. There's something that fascinates my brain, it still does, something about my brain that I really, like, enjoys doing that, and it's really hard for me to put controllers down sometimes, because it's really an immerse, immersive thing, and games are getting so... And enticing, I think it really, you know, they're really, really good pieces of media, and it's really, really fun to play. Um, what is the software you use to upload YouTube videos? Pretty simple. Oh, by the way, that that uh, previous question was by a Kemmer four four four. I'm I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. Uh, Mr. Adosoma, Adosoma. A D D O W S O M A. I don't know how to say your name. I just say Adasoma. I, I don't know. Sorry, dude. I don't know how to say your name. What is the stuff you use to upload your YouTube videos? Standard YouTube uploader. You go onto YouTube.com. You hit upload. That's the uploader I use. I've tried to use free YouTube upload uh, from DVD video stuff from the DVD video stuff free studio, but the problem with that is. It doesn't work, and I've tried everything. I can't get it to work, but and also the advanced uploader plays fucking tricks on me. So uh, the YouTube advanced uploader. So I try to use the I use the standard one. What's your breast size? Uh, no fucking clue. <laughs> I don't even know if you can do that with men. Gatorade or Powerade? Oh, oh, jeez. J Gatorade and Powerade. I don't even know what the fucking difference is between those two. To be quite honest, dude. I have no fucking clue. This is by Stickmaster Steven. I have, I have no clue what, what the difference is. And I, I, I drink both and they taste the same to me, so... We'll call that a tie. We'll say Gatorade because it has a cooler name. Uh, do you think we should... Do you think we should play baseball? I don't know, dude. If you should play baseball or not. Apperson30... Ask, do, you, do you think we should play baseball? I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. 
Sure, if you feel like playing baseball, go play baseball. Okay, I already answered this one in another question. I answered that in the context of another question. What's your first video game ever? As I just said, probably the, the one of the, I don't know what Mario game it was. It was some of, one of the Mario, Mario Color game, game my Color games. Are you a virgin? Is the next question. I don't know why I'm skipping this question. This one is by Dan Lightpower. What's your first video game ever? Yes, it is probably one of that Mario game. Are You Virgin by Crispy K R I Z P Y Y. I don't know how to say. It. I'm just gonna Crispy Crispy. I guess. Are You Virgin? Yes, I am a virgin. Here are some here's some questions. I hope they're fine and appropriate. If you early answer some of the questions, please skip them. What inspired you to make these playthroughs, walkthroughs? Now, it's an interesting question. Well, I, I don't know why I always say that, but I do think it's a, this one is really an interesting question. Now, I the first guy I really watched gaming footage from, you know, I used to I used to watch like I used to watch you know a walkthrough if I wanted to know like if I wanted to know something about the game I, and I could I was stuck or something. I used to watch walkthroughs uh, of the game so I could see how to do it or uh, it was interesting to see for me how to how to watch see how other people play the game, but it was mostly without commentary. And then, for some reason, I I couldn't get I couldn't get some games, and I would try to look up a playthrough for certain games and watch that playthrough because I wanted to see how that game was. I wanted to see that game play through, but I didn't I didn't want to buy the game myself. So yeah, I think one of the first games I did that on was Half Life Two, and I bought. Half of two. I have it now, but this guy called PC Gamer nine nine nine, and he's just do those PC games. He was pretty funny, you know, this little little channel, and it was really really fun uh, to watch his videos for a while. And I might go back and watch some of his playthroughs now. Right now, he's actually I'm still subscribed subscribed to him. He's doing uh, Half Life two, Half Life one, Opposing Force playthrough right now. So go check him out. He's pretty good. And uh, he did, I watched his videos, I, I literally, he had like 500 videos, I literally went through and I watched everything on his channel. It's the first time I've ever done it in the last. I watched every single video on his channel, up to a certain point, and then, you know, I kept watching his videos, but then they get got boring. So, you know, first of all, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of the thing I did. And then, of course, yeah, I, I, I really liked watching him, and I really thought, what if I could do this myself? So, I found Dark Side Phil, and I really, really like Dark Side Phil. PC Gamer 999 has kind of a nostalgic factor for me. With It's kind of the first, first guy I really watched, and it really, it, it's really a feeling of nostalgia when I watch his videos. Like, back when I would get uh, free YouTube free YouTube download from DVD VideoSoft. I would go on a playlist of, the vi of his videos. I would download all of them to my hard drive. I'd synchronize them to my iPod. And I'd, and I'd watch them like hours at a time. I'd just watch this guy's videos. And it was really, really fun for me to do that. And I found Dark Side Phil. And I really like Dark Side Phil because he's really funny. And because he speaks his mind openly about the gaming industry. And uh, by that time, by the time I, I found Dark Side Phil, I was already getting into doing video games. I mean, I was already getting into it. I already had a little bit of a, you know, idea. I don't exactly what, uh, what exact, and what exact sequence everything was. But and shortly after I found Dark Side Phil, I started with my first playthrough, which was Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. You know, I might have even you know, Splinter Cell, the original Splinter Cell, the very first one, and I, 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 um, I think I found that simple after that. My very first playthrough, I deleted from YouTube because the quality was really crap, and I just I didn't like it. And after that, I got my gaming rig. I could really record some stuff for fraps. So yeah, that's basically how I got into it. What is your favorite game uh, genre of mu of music? 
video games and movies? Good question. My favorite genre of music is probably... <laughs> it's probably video game soundtrack. Yeah? Video game soundtracks, or probably rock. You know, because I really like rock. Uh, because it's really intense and it gets, it gets to you. Uh, and it's really emotional. Because it, 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 it makes you feel like it makes your adrenaline pump. And it's, it's really awesome. But I really like video game music and also uh, movie soundtrack because especially if you've played the game and you've watched the movie and you hear the music and you're like, ah, I remember what was, what was happening when this, when this music plays and you're already connected to the characters of the game or movie by playing the game or watching the movie and it, it's really like you built a connection to you that you you really um, that really makes you appreciate the music a lot because you connect it to the whole experience already and then you hear it again and it makes it sound so you know emotional and makes your adrenaline go up and, and you know this fighting fight scene or this fighting music where you know you're fighting someone and it's it's really it's really I think video game music or probably rock or something like that House is pretty good too, or dance, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, those are pretty good. Ha dance is good because it's it really it it, it gets you dancing. It, it's really uh, it makes you kind of, it makes you kind of move, and it's uh, it's a pretty sweet music genre. So those those are probably I'd say my favorite uh, music genre. Video game genre. Uh, I I gotta go for something like RPG. The reason I say this is because RPGs are very adaptable. If you look at the classic RPGs, the ones that have like lots of stats and you know items with different stats and, and almost no no real time combat, everything is handled with stats and attack and defense and hit points. And you see you see how that's evolved today into games like The Witcher, into games like Fallout New Vegas, uh, and it, RPGs can just go so much further. They can, they can expand, and and also the, the story element where you can go, you can have the dialogue op, dialogue options. You can have the really story bit driven game. You can have the open world. All of these things, you know, our RPG can be an action RPG or a first person shooter RPG or a first person RPG. So it can be kind of, it can even be a racing RPG where you upgrade your car and your character. So RPGs can kind of blend with other other genres and other types of games. And that's why I think really RPGs are the most important gaming genre, and of course also a really nice RPG like like The Witcher Two is really fun to play. Um, but you know it's very important gaming genre because. It can melt with all these others. You can't really melt a, a first-person shooter. You, you know, you, you can't really say you, you melt a first-person shooter with, like, if you can melt with an RPG, you can't really melt it because you can melt with an action game. But, but it, it seems like that RPG can be part of another genre without changing that game, with, with making the game, you know, so there's so many games that are like, it's almost unclear what kind of genre they are because they're mixing so much and they're, you know, of course you can mix action and art first person shooter, action racing, stuff like that, but obviously racing games, I'm really not a big fan of racing games, but I think RPG is the most important one and, and the best one to, to, to mix with other game, with other genres and create something completely new and unique that you, you can't put your finger on exactly what single genre it is because it's so mixed and, and it's so inter inter interweave and stuff so yeah that's basically my answer to that movies I have a lot of movies I like that of course for me comedy comedy movies I prefer shows that are comedy shows because I, I can take comedy in like shorter bits of like maximum of 40 minutes but when you get like when you get like this whole long movie 
It's not, it's not like I can only watch 40 minutes of one show, I mean one movie. That's like a 90 minute long movie, but it seems like the plot, the plot gets kind, of, gets kind of fucked up because new movies seem to like, all comedy movies, they get too serious. They get too serious and they have to have, to have this plot, and whereas with it, when you're doing a show, it doesn't really have to be that way. So I can watch two or three shows that are like 40 minutes, and I, I'll enjoy it more than watching one movie com of comedy. But I really like comedy. I'm going to talk about movies and TV, because they're, they're really the same th They're not the same thing, but they're very similar in many ways, because they're both, you're both sitting there and watching a, a movie. So, I also really like Thriller, because it, it's like, obviously, I, I just like him. I do like Detective, like, like Detective uh, things, but mostly if they're, like, mixed with a, a Thriller, or an Action, or, like, Something like that. So they're they're really if they're like if they're like not just a detective, a dry detective movie where they're just investigating and running the clues and stuff like that. That's kind of boring. Or if they have an interesting interesting angle like CSI does with the which I think or like CSI is a good show. Even though I stopped watching it because it turned to shit eventually. I didn't don't watch the the shitty Miami and stuff. I just watched the original Los Angeles uh, Las Vegas. And uh, I also like drama because drama can be very, can be very enticing. Can connect you to the characters, and you really feel emotionally for these characters. I'm not a big fan of feel-good movies because they, cause they just, they're just in my opinion, they're pointless. Um, I like action, obviously, stuff like that, but. If I, if I have to say a single a single genre, I, I don't really think I could because I have a lot of different genres and movies that I like. And right now, there's not that many, in my opinion, not that many good movies coming out. The gaming industry clearly has has the better the better market right now, and for for stuff in general, and it's just well, there's crappy movies coming out right now. So, do you prefer Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Star Trek, or any other fanboy series? So I like, S Star Wars is okay, Lord of the Rings, I really like Lord of the Rings, even though I, I, I actually didn't read the books, but I, I do like the movies. Uh, Star Trek, I, I do like Star Trek, I like the old Star, I watched a lot of the old Star Trek, because my parents kind of grew up with that, and... And we rented that, and those are pretty good. Like the they're, they're, they're graphics are absolutely crap. You know, they have not the graphics, but the special effects are absolutely, you know, horrendous. It can be really fun to watch like an old show, and it has lots of quality in it. It's a really, it's a, it's a really good show. So uh, I like Star Trek. I didn't really go go too much into into the light into the later series with all this new shit. I don't really, I'm not a big fan of that, but I like the old ones. Uh, Star Wars, nah. The movies are okay. Uh, I, I do like the games, some of the games, like Knights of the Old Republic and stuff like that. I do like those games. Like I really like the Knights of the Old Republic game. Yeah, I played the second one. Uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much. Yeah, I like those those series. Um, and in general, I'm not really that much of a fanboy because I think fanboyism is also, part of being a fanboy is also, like, being, like, really, really focused on that, and I'm not really that way, I, li I like a lot of different things, and, um, so, yeah. What kind of games should I have, should have sequels, and what should be made to improve them for their predecessors, from their predecessors? And all these, all these questions above, that I answered, what inspired you to make these playthroughs, what is your favorite genre of music, video games, movies? Do you have any tips to attract subscribers? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that one. Uh, do you prefer Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Star Trek, or any other fanboy series? What kind of games should have sequels? And what should be made to improve them from their predecessors? Is Simple Plan 32230. So for, I want to answer the subscriber question.